Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here with, I believe, the last racing ship that I have left to cover. Of course, I'll, I'll be going back through and putting all the ones that haven't gone through the track yet, through the track. And that ship that we are looking at is the Misk Razor. It's all painted up with Microtech, Microtech colors and uh, Microtech name on it everywhere. And it looks pretty looks kind of pretty um, it also looks a little weird but you know it's a it's a racing ship so it's cool got a couple of big old guns on the bottom of it they're not that big but they're they're gonna they'll do work for uh, small little small little bounty jobs if you actually want to do that considering racing and bounty hunting go a little bit hand in hand not entirely but when it comes to fighter ships fighter ships tend to be pretty fast and Racing ships tend to have guns, at least in this game, they do. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hop on in here. But before we hop on in, let's go ahead and take a look at the Urkel. So, starting out with the weapons, we have the CF-227 Badgers. They, got, they are size 2, laser repeaters. Uh, if you want them to be gimbaled, you will have to switch to a, a couple of gimbal mounts, and then slap some size 1 guns on there. But the nice thing about doing that is when you have smaller guns you get more ammunition when it comes to uh, energy guns or laser can weapons so that's always something to consider you also do a decently smaller amount of damage so keep that in mind moving on uh, we have a couple of missiles we have two marksman one missiles size one missiles so you know you dump those two and you're done the ship's not really meant for combat it's a it's a racing ship so yeah, <laughs> but like I said earlier, bounty hunting and racing do kind of sort of go hand in hand to a very light extent. So moving on here, we have the Light Fire Quantum Drive. It is a size one uh, competition grade C. Uh, this thing surprisingly will get you around the system. It just does it at the slowest speed I've ever seen anything marked with competition grade anything. So yeah. <laughs> For the shield we have a size 1 Targa, competition grade C, 1500 hit points. For our power plant we have a star heart, competition grade B, gives us 1262 power. We're using almost all of it at 1041, but you don't have to worry about that because we're also using as much power as this ship really can use so cool and we got the coolers down there a couple of size one ice plunges that nobody cares about the ship can be purchased at new deal in lorville lorville of all places it's painted up with misc but yet you have to go to lorville anyhow you can buy it for 1,761,200 auec so let's go ahead and climb on in here now get nice and situated oh you know, nope. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not. We're not in PTU. We're in live, so we're changing that. We're not wearing the good armor out there. Mm -mm. No, sir. There we go. That's better. We'll do that. Now let's hop in the ship. Get her all nice and started up. In a second. Close the. Close the hatch. Yeah. Ooh. It is an interesting animation for that. The windows come up on the sides and it comes back over your head. And it seals. I'm hoping it seals like that. <laughs> it is a spaceship. It should seal. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take off and I'll meet you over at the starting gate for the racetrack. Uh, during daytime. I think it's nighttime right now. So it might be a minute. So I'll 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 see you at daytime. Of course, just after we take off. All right. Oh, almost forgot to show it off. Yeah, there. Whoa, that's a far camera. Far out, dude. All right, go ahead, put the landing gear away. Ooh, that's kind. I like how it flips a little. Just a little half turn and goes in. That's kind of cool. Take off, and now I'll meet you over there. Okay, I think that's close enough to daytime. Let's go ahead and get into the normal view. There we are. And take off and get to the starting line. Mm -hmm. 
get her nice and lined up here. Yeah. Alright, once this thing starts to go, we'll take off and we'll go. Now again, I don't I don't run these with the limiter off. I keep the limiter on because I'm trying to survive the the track. Uh, and I'm not that experienced with racing yet, so there is that. This thing is ooh, it's a little rough in Atmo. <laughs> it's fighting me. Hey, oh, yeah, ooh, it's really fighting me. It did a full. 360 there. I don't even know how that's why that would that doesn't even make sense right, Let's just get through the checkpoint here Make our way around checkpoint five. Oh whew. Man it really doesn't like to make sharp turns in that mo and it doesn't like it. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, that's funny. My body started to float before it fell. <laughs> well, okay. I didn't make it all the way around. I'm not trying again. That that ship was fighting me the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye.